Hi everyone, so today we will see how to generate the Cucumber Report Maven plugin for our Cucumber project. So in earlier videos we have seen a Cucumber uh, reporting as well as extend report and Cucumber Maven reporting right. So this time we will we'll discuss about this Cucumber Report Maven plugin for a Cucumber project ok. So if you guys go to Cucumber page right, so this is a Cucumber page if you see the reporting uh, page right. So under reporting you can see uh, this is a Cucumber report services that we seen in the first video right. So the default reporters are supported by the Cucumber where you can uh, if you use this particular dependencies right, you can even generate the Cucumber default report service option. And there are some inbuilt options also available. If you see this inbuilts are like a pretty we, we generate pretty report, HTML report, JSON report as well as JNUnit report right. So likewise uh, we have some third party plugins also available you can see. So these are the third party plugins uh, that support by the Cucumber for reporting purpose like you have a team city. There are so many things like you have a allure report right. So last in last video we have seen this Cucumber report plugin right. So in this video we are seeing uh, we are going to see about this Cucumber ok. So I will open this Cucumber here ok. So this is what the Cucumber uh, I mean uh, reporting plugin uh, page it is. Okay, so the here they have given some instruction how to uh, set up the things and how to configure to generate the Cucumber report. Okay, so we will we'll quickly uh, go to the configuration. Right, so this is a this is a plugin create aggregated test report from the from Cucumber compatible JSON. Okay, Cucumber compatible JSON is like a so we will generate the Cucumber JSON output. Right, from the JSON they are building this uh, project actually. Okay, from the JSON they are generating this report. Okay, this this can be like a Cucumber VDD as well as Karate framework as well. Okay, so uh, so example result I mean reports are here. So we can open the example report and we can see the sample report here. So these are the all scenarios will be listed here. If you if you scroll down, you can see all the scenarios and and what is the sequence of the scenarios and all the tags. Right and all the steps and all the futures, right? So everything we can see and as well as uh, the screenshot also. So the failed screenshot also we can see actually. So for that one, I will go to the steps. Right. So I will take some uh, failed test cases. Okay, this is a failed test cases. Okay. So attachment test. So if I scroll down, so we can see this. Uh, yeah, scenario outlines, examples are coming and as well as the error message, the screenshots also getting attached to the report, ok. So this is a sample report, ok. How do we uh, configure this report? So the prerequest is are, uh, so if you are using Cucumber greater than 2, then you have to uh, generate the Cucumber JSON uh, in this plugin, right. So it, it's, it's, it's nothing else, it, it's uh, all about uh, generating the JSON report, that's it. So within the uh, JSON report, they are they are building their uh, report. Okay. So if you are using the uh, Cucumber one version, right? So you have to uh, go for this one. And if you want, I mean, if you are using greater than or equal to two, then you have to go with this. Okay. Both both are same, but but they are maintaining some uh, standard. Okay. So we don't need any dependencies to be added to the dependencies uh, in the form dot XML. But we have to add the plugin. Okay, so this is a plugin. Uh, this is a. So if you come here, so so I'm using greater than two Cucumber version. So I'm using this plugin, and if you see this, this is a this is a thing plugin. We have to add in the Pom dot XML. Okay. So I have to up, I mean we have to update the version, and you have to make sure this uh, this build the directory. Right? So this is a Cucumber report that is coming from the uh, JSON one. Okay. And this is a path of uh, so where your report needs to be generated. Okay. So only this setup is done, then you can directly run your uh, pom.xml uh, using the Maven, then automatically report will be generated in the particular folder. Okay. And there are some uh, configuration you can do some parameterized configuration, like if you want to change the report name or something you want to append to the report. Right, so if you see this custom parameters like so here they are giving us a this is test and it is coming here in the in the report. Right, there are there are so many things are available. You can you can go one by one. 
like if you want to attach the failed screenshot also you can enable the xml uh, in the in the plugin itself right so which one which i mean which page you have to start from the first like if you see here this is all scenario is starting first right so you can configure this page as well so in 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 case if you want to this all feature to the first tab then you can go for it so that's what the start page right so the respective uh, customization you can done so you if you want to create the a title of the report right so you can create this and you can change the color coding as well if you don't like this color code then you you can change the color code as well right so for fail like like this so for for fail anything if anything other than green if you want you can go for it. okay this is very uh, good report and you you have uh, like a hundred percentage of customization is uh, it's it's uh, allowable right so now uh, we'll see in the project okay so this is a plugin okay so start from here to here right so i have added the dependencies and i i, I just added the cucumber report uh, json directory okay so where it gets stored in my project is uh, so it will be stored in the slash cucumber report target right so now it is clear i will show you so under target i am storing in the name of cucumber hyphen report okay so this is output i am generating under the target folder by the name of may1 cucumber report okay so what i have done here is uh, so this is my runner class right so may1 cucumber report is a runner class so here also you can see i am just uh, taking this json right so this is a configuration they have given here right so this is a configuration line so plugin json target cucumber json right the same i have applied here to generate the uh, json report because uh, this json report it must for generating this cucumber report html report right so i have given here and uh, nothing else so that's all um so when you come to the pom.xml i am simply calling this file okay so cucumber so in the may one share per plugin i am calling this file okay so now uh, we will see i will run this file may one verify you can see the i mean the execution is started browser is launched so first time it will it will go for a bingo.com will do some search the second test case will go to the google search and it will perform some google search and the tag the test is done yeah that's all the test is done you can see here so the report is generated right so the cucumber report is generated and you can see where the this json report directory and what is your, where is your html report directory right these are the custom parameters that i am sending in the xml i mean in the plugin right so custom parameter this is smoke report and what is the url and what is the text if you want to pass any text you can pass and this is a title a title of the my report i am sending as a my sample report right right so now if you guys see this target folder is empty okay so as soon as i i do the refresh of the project right so you can see here this target is uh, have something is created okay so now if we go to this uh, project path right so target class may one cucumber report so this is where my my report is generated right may one cucumber report i will go to the properties and i will open the particular folder okay so this is where my report is generated right so i will open this 
and you can find the uh, I mean this HTML index file so if you open this so you can see I, I have named as a my sample report right so that is coming here so these are the scenarios tab and this is a smoke text report you now what is the URL and this is a I mean some random text I'm sending here right so these are the, all the scenarios like if you scroll down we have ran two scenarios one is doing Google search one is a Bing search so the Bing search is passed and the Google is failed right so you can see all the starter time and time total test and time and what's the scenario sequence it's it's then actually so it's it first one is bingo and second one is go google so what's the what are the tag that we have used and what are the steps and what are the futures right so everything will be here so when you come to this all scenarios right so you have a google search is failed one so this scenario is failed so you can go here and you can see the where it is as a failure it is so, so there is something is uh, assertions are getting failed okay so here you can see the screen chart. If you scroll down, you can see the screen chart. So, uh, so in the after scenario, after hooks method, right? So I'm taking the screen chart and it, it will automatically append to attach to your report. Okay. So if you don't want to see this, you no, know, you can hide this. So the report, I mean, the screen chart will not be shown here. So if you want to see, you can click on this uh, show hide scenario hooks. Automatically, this report will be uh, enabled. Okay. So this is a way of uh, generating the uh, cucumber report for cucumber project. So all you have to do is I uh, in in the JInuit runner you have to apply this plugin, right? So you have to generate this cucumber.json file, and in the plugin, so you have to uh, add the things like this. So so if you see this one, right? So I'm generating the cucumber report under the cucumber uh, target cucumber report JSON, right? So this is a path I am passing it over here, right? So till this project directory, it will go to the my target folder. Yeah, here you can see clearly. So target slash cucumber report, right? So that's where my JSON report is there. So take that JSON report and make the HTML report. Okay. So that's all about uh, this uh, cucumber. I mean cucumber report. How to generate the cucumber report for uh, our cucumber project? Okay. So if you guys have any comments, please uh, leave in the comment section. I will uh, address as soon as possible. Okay. Okay, guys. Uh, thank you.